Good morning, beautiful people. About three years ago, I started buying granola from my local food co-op, and it was about 10 bucks a bag for a bag like this, which was wonderful, but it disappeared in my house very quickly, and I only liked certain flavors that the co-op offered every other week, so then I was left without granola that I really liked, which inspired me to start making my own. Turns out it's much faster and cheaper to just make your own, so let's just make some in a few minutes right now. First of all, what I do, the other bonus to making your own granola is you can control what goes in it. So I have two tablespoons of honey here. That is from around here. And about a fourth a cup of coconut oil. And then also about a third of a cup of maple syrup. So I'm going to throw this on the stove top real quick, just to melt. And while that's melting, we will put together the oats. So this is three cups of old-fashioned oats. You do not want to use quick oats. They're too small and they'll just fall apart. So if you like some clusters in your granola, definitely old-fashioned oats. It's um, not a compromising situation. To that, you can add about a dash of salt. I like to kind of measure in my hand sometimes so it doesn't go crazy, but a little bit of salt, a um, little bit of cinnamon. Um, if it's fall, go for some pumpkin spice or whatever seasonings you want. If you want like a, uh, like a chai flavor, you could do that. And then I do about um, two cups of nuts of whatever I feel like. And I really like pecans, so I add a whole bunch of those. But it's really kind of whatever you want to do with it. It's whatever you have around that you want to throw in there. You can throw in chia seeds, whatever. Flax. So once this is all mixed together, you throw on your drizzle, your olive oil, maple syrup, and coconut oil mix. So I'll see if that is melted. After we take that off the stove, we want to add some extracts to it. So we'll grab that. And since it's not quite ready, we will talk about the ingredients in this granola. So I already mentioned that I make granola so I can control the ingredients and really it ends up being a lot cheaper. So I have, um, I'll give you guys my recipe card so you can screenshot it if you want, but it is coconut oil, maple syrup, and honey, and nuts and oatmeal. So coconut oil, you know, is on the press a lot for being really healthy for you. And the really quick and dirty of that is that coconut oil has these types of fats that are e more easily digested than some other fats. So your body can kind of use and process them more quickly and then possibly like burn them off more quickly as well. It's also got some other components. They're supposed to be kind of antibacterial, antifungal, that's the lauric acid in it. So that's the benefits of coconut oil kind of in a real nutshell. And then the maple syrup. Um, so maple syrup is still sugar, but I still think it's a little bit more superior. It has a lot of minerals in it, and it's got a lot of antioxidant property. Antioxidants, as you know, are you know kind of like the anti-wrinkle, anti-aging, anti-cancer. So still sugar, but has more beneficial compounds than like regular sugar. So it doesn't really give me the crash quite the same. And tastes delicious in granola, so that's really what we're after. So maple syrup, um, coconut oil, and then honey. And honey is just great, right? We know all about honey. All right, so two, three cups of oatmeal. I added about two cups of nuts, some salt, and some um, cinnamon. Yeah, you could skip the salt if you wanted to. It just kind of adds like this little sweet and saltiness at the end. So we'll see if my coconut oil is melted. Yep, close enough. So we'll go with this. So I go ahead and I said I was going to put in some extracts. Now this is kind of important actually. This almond extract is like what makes this granola taste a little bit different. And then I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of both vanilla and almond. I don't measure a lot of ingredients, but I do like to measure almond extract because one time I put too much in and it was a little overbearing liquid can pour in kind of fast. So I learned my lesson and I measure that. So I'm not much of a baker because I don't like to measure things. 
<clears throat> so granola is good because I can just kind of uh, look and pour. Sometimes it doesn't turn out quite the same if I'm not measuring, but it's better than nothing. So if you're not a breakfast eater, that's a different conversation, but this makes for a great snack, right? And then also makes for a great gift because there's no gift I prefer getting over food. Seriously. So once you kind of have that mixed together, you can spread it on a sheet pan. I just made the single version of this recipe. Typically I always make double, but I put it on a sheet pan and I always use parchment paper because I don't like cleanup. Okay. So sheet pan, parchment paper. Once your oats are all nicely covered up, spread it all over. You've already had the oven preheating at 325 while you prep this and it's going to be ready to roll. So you can stir this halfway through after you put it in the oven, but if you don't, it's not going to be the end of the world. So just spread it out, stick it in the oven, and then let's talk about what it's going to be like when it comes out because I have some that's out. So I'm going to pop this one in the oven. thing about the oven time is you have to trust it because when your granola comes out this stuff does actually look pretty dark it was on a top rack but when your granola first comes out of the oven it's gonna be soft and you um, you just need to trust that it's gonna be soft it's gonna harden up and after it cools it's going to kind of shell apart just like this so if you want to add something like fresh fruit or anything like that at the end, um, or dried fruit, you would add that after you bake it. And then, um, depending on your dried fruit, I'd actually put it in the fridge because that can kind of change the shelf stability of it a little bit. It changes kind of the, um, the moisture content a little bit in your granola. So if I've left granola out for too long that had dried fruit, I would just say keep it in the fridge. So it tastes amazing wait for it to cool, you'll be good to go. So three cups of oatmeal, um, a cup of almonds and maybe a cup of pecans, it's pretty flexible, a little dash of salt, a little dash of cinnamon, um, pour over a mixture of about a third a cup of maple syrup, um, a fourth a cup of all coconut oil, a couple of tablespoons of honey, and then after that melts together, um, add your extracts, almond and vanilla. The almond is pretty important. So. Um, this breakfast will keep giving back to you all week, so prepare it once. Hopefully a little more satiety. That's it. Hope that was helpful. Is there anything else? Leslie, do you want to, um, do you have any other thoughts or questions about breakfast? This is my favorite breakfast thing, and um, I am really glad I was motivated by money to start making my own a couple of years ago because it really isn't hard, and a lot of people have reaped the benefits as gifts from me ever since, so it's been a wonderful thing. Okay, Leslie, we'll talk to you later.